What is up, guys? Maximovus here with episode 11 of the Ring of Honor 2017 series as we try to save Ring of Honor one show at a time as we are now post 15th anniversary show as we uh, move on to the month of April. As uh, we have some locker room incidents here, so let's see. We have our old brother Nero helping out Sammy. That's some good shit there, yeah. Brother Nero. What a pal. As uh, we don't want to be in the tri-state area. We were, we've been running there a lot. Let's go back to the mid-Atlantic region. Let's see here. Kind of want to sell a place out. So at least with 3,000 people. Oh, that would... I mean, that's close enough. I think we've we ran the Benjamin Johnson our arena before. So let's go. Uh, let's go to Brooksfield. Why not? Sell it out. And, uh, yeah, that's for the next week's show, so we can think we're okay. Shit, I'm a little nervous. Um, let's just make sure. Okay, yeah, so that does have storytelling. And let's just have to steal the show. Okay, that's... We can go. <laughs> just scared the shit out of me there for a minute. But there we go, we have Sammy. Rivera taking on Joey as, uh... Sammy gets the win in 4 minutes and 52 seconds with a submission. Sammy uh, is getting a 43. That's really, really good for a guy who's fucking 20. I think he's 21. I'm trying to think. He's really young now. Below the age of 25. Let's just say that. And for him to have 43 six, the brother Nero helping him out. No improvements on the match, but we'll take it. Sammy doing work. What we like to see, and then we have a tag team matchup as the Bravado Brothers take on the Pretty Boy Killers with Harlem Bravado pinning Shane Taylor in seven minutes and forty-seven seconds. The Bravado Brothers getting forty-fives and forty-eights. Good shit there. Shane Taylor improving. Oh, so the Pretty Boy Killers are improving. Good shit there. So I got a forty-five D. It's oh yeah. <laughs> Pre-show match, the last pre-show match. It's uh, Ray Phoenix taking on Frankie Gazarian. As Ray Phoenix gets the win in eight minutes with a corkscrew sent time. It's, yeah. Fuck, Phoenix is the man. Good shit. 66. Rating there. Frankie Gazarian with a 58. 60. Rating for the match. I will take that. <laughs> As this, we ran out of time. So this got to, had to be bumped to the pre-show. As we go on to uh, the television taping here, as we have Christopher Daniels in the ring, the microphone in hand. Adam Cole should have been off screen. God damn it. As Daniels goes, you know, Adam Cole, you want to talk about being a part of history, Ring of Honor, three time Ring of Honor world champion. You just beat Homicide, just a mere. 24 hours ago, and it's funny, because uh, I'm the one who started it all, that fateful night at the Murphy Rec Center, when I didn't follow the code of honor, and didn't shake Brian Danielson's hand, left him high and dry, that was the moment where Ring of Honor elevated, so that's where Ring of Honor was just not, not another indie company. Where Ring of Honor was meant for something more. Was meant for something special. But yet, I didn't get a world title shot. No. Instead, I was kind of blackballed by Gabe Sapolsky. And Rob Feinstein then. But now, I see you. A man who doesn't care about upholding the code of honor. Doesn't care what the... What Carrie Silken... Thinks and now what our new matchmaker Kurt Angle thinks? No, don't care about that. So why would I care? Why would they care if I attacked you after your match against Homicide? Why not thrust my name into the hat? No, oh, Adam Cole. Yeah, you're a young man. You have the world in the palm of your hands. You control your own destiny. Me. 45, Father Time's knocking on the door, 
there's one thing I haven't done. Let's be the Ring of Honor World Champ, you know, and everywhere. Whether it be in Orlando, Florida. Wasn't a world champion there. Seems like everywhere I go, it's Christopher Daniels, most underrated wrestler in the world. So talented. Money on the microphone. Solid in the ring, but yet, never got my shot. But I'm tired of sitting back and watching the young guys get their chance. How about I get my shot? The Ring of Honor world title, Adam Cole. So then, with Adam Cole, his music hits as he interrupts Daniels. As boy, he did not do <laughs> He shit the bed with this one. <laughs> And improvised dialogue. He wanted to go without a script. He fucking got it. So Adam Cole goes, Yo, old man Daniels. Just because you put your hands on me doesn't mean you get to jump to the front of the line. You have to earn your spot like I told Homicide, like I'm going to tell everybody else. Just because you want a piece of the champ doesn't mean you get to cut to the front of the line. You have to earn it, Daniels, and... You better do it quick, old man. Cause, uh, I'm sure before you know you have to go to the retirement home. Have to pick up your social security. Time's out on your side. Better do it fast. So there's no strong words. Adam Cole and Christopher Daniels. It's Adam Cole again ducking another challenger. No surprise. Piece of shit. As uh, we move on to our opening contest with... Mandy Leon and Taylor Hendricks. As Taylor Hendricks uh, gets the pin with a kiss goodnight. As they don't click, yeah, Taylor Hendricks had an undisclosed leg injury. There's that. As I get a 24E. As then we have Donovan Dijak. Who uh, is the backstage. He goes, yeah. 15th anniversary show. Saw... New matchmaker, Kurt Angle, Olympic gold medalist, a man who was never handed anything. He earned his stripes. Man who won the 96 Olympic gold medal. The broken freaking neck, but yet, here in Ring of Honor, I have that same talent. Donovan Dijak, top prospect winner 2015, but how many. Ring of Honor World title chats have I gotten? Oh, zero. I've had the Ring of Honor television title shot once? Why? Six foot seven? I can do it all. Cut a promo. I can go in the ring. Do a spinning tornillo to the outside. Six foot seven. A whole lot of guys can do that, but yet I see JT Dunn. Leo Rush, they got their spot. They got their match, their opening contest. At a Ring of Honor 15th anniversary show. Well, me? No. Oh, Donovan Die Jack wasn't even on the show, but yet I made my impact. I'm tired of everybody else getting handed opportunities. It's about time I made my made an opportunity for myself. But then Kurt Angle appears. He goes, you know, Donovan, I think you're right. It's man of your statue, man of, of your prestige, of, of everybody telling me you're a can't-miss prospect. You're going to be a star in the making here in Ring of Honor, but that, that hasn't happened. But I think it's time you try to make something out of yourself. So how about this? Die, Jack. Super card of honor. Be a triple threat match between you, Leo Rush, and JT Dunn, three top prospect winners, and we'll see who the real top prospect in Ring of Honor is. So there's that. Oh, I mean, I got an E33E. I don't know what the fuck happened here. I don't know if we based uh, Dijak, Leo Rush, and JT Dunn on Overness. I think we did. So that that sucked. <laughs> I got a kind of wish we would just be like, hey, Kurt, just have a promo. Everybody else got not rated. Probably got like an A. Oh well. 
As uh, we move on, though, to a singles match between Donovan Dijak and Tracy Williams. As uh, Donovan Dijak does get the win via submission after an interference from Prince Nana. It's Dijak with 47. Hot sauce with a 38. Nice little match of 47D. That ain't bad. Not bad for two young guns. As uh, then we have a tag team match player. Oh my god, Brother Nero got a 98. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> he, uh, Brother Nero shown in this match. <laughs> Fucking type over there. <laughs> As, uh, the Hard Ace get the win over Rapungi Vice. 8 minutes and 38 seconds with Brother Nero, uh, pinning Rocky Romero after the extreme combination. Brother Nero get better as a gimmick. The, uh, Hardys, of course, have excellent chemistry. Match got the crowd buzzing. As, uh, yeah, good shit. Good shit, Brother Nero. Get a 71 B+. Plus. As then we have our main event contest tag team match. As, oh boy, this probably should have been the co-main. As uh, we have <laughs> UK's finest. Be done. And uh, the Ring of Honor television champion, Marty Skrull, the villain, taking on the team of Mark Andrews and Will Ospreay. As Will Ospreay pins Pete Dunne with a 630 splash in 12 minutes and 25 seconds. Pete Dunne, the weak link, only got a 30. Vice Scarlet's off this game, got a 42. Mark the 49, and Will with a 46. Oh, yeah, wrong match went on last. God damn it. But we'll take it. As a, yeah, increased our popularity in 17 regions, though lost it in the tri state area. Damn, I, I fucked up, guys. Fucked up. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Donovan Dijak. Had a great promo. Uh, did better than Daniel's promo. I was really surprised by that, to be honest. Uh, that's good shit, though. Uh, I guess because, you know, Kurt's over and has probably bumped him up for that. But Donovan Dijak had a good match. Good shit. I mean, that's a nice little television taping. I'll take it. If we, you know, we probably switch it. We had the main event going last. Co-main the, uh, the, the uh, tag match between the UK boys. Probably would have done... Probably a little bit better. Maybe a, maybe a 60. Maybe. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, that will do it for episode 11. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, so we'll uh, keep on going here, though, as uh, we'll see what's going on in the uh, regional battles. So, yeah, we'll just hang tight. As all right. As uh, we are back here with the regional battles. Great Lakes. Yes, we got, uh, first in that, Mid-South, we weren't there. Midwest got one, New England one, Southeast one. Yeah, all right, so we'll take that also. Um, Recipe of 33 happened, so let's take a look at how that show went. Dog! Oh, oh <laughs> the big dog! Losing in the main event, yeah, that, like, that's gonna fucking happen. Holy shit, what a six-man tag, like... Zane, Nakamura, and Joe on the same team? That'd be pretty cool. That's fucking no Sin Car, TJ Perkins, and Tyler Breeze, though. That's fucking... God damn, that's... Yeah. <laughs> it's, oh, yeah, Curtis Axel Neville, that fucking great team. Wow. Opening match. Fucking Shining Stars, the Ascension. Fuck yeah. Charlotte retained in the four-way. Ambrose won a handicap match between Zack Ryder and Simon Gotch. <laughs> Fucking. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I really hope the co main event is New Day taking on Randy Orton and Triple H. Man. That's something. So uh, that will do it for the episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and we will see you next time. Take care.